Each year, the Mother Cabrini Feast attracts thousands of thrill seekers to the grounds of Suffolk Community College. Mother Cabrini, it's uh, the biggest Italian festival on the island. Um, we have 30 rides, a uh, quarter mile of food and entertainment. It's just a really good time. And for as much as we want to take advantage of that quarter mile of food, we're here to feed our brain. Today, the fair is a classroom where kids learn about the physics behind Newton Show's fun rides. There are three laws that relate to this particular ride, and the scientist's name is Newton. I am a scientist who loves to inspire young kids to do hands-on science. Science is everywhere, so this basically was my laboratory. So what we did is we walked around, we picked a few of the rides or the attractions, and identified what were the phys physics principles related to that. Newton's first law says, whatever is in motion stays in motion unless there's a force that would act on it. Once they turn that on and you're in their bumper car, whatever direction it is, it's gonna continue in that direction unless something happens. Newton's second law says, the force is equal to your mass times the acceleration, which is related to speed. If there's a, a huge force when you're moving, what do you think is gonna happen to your acceleration? It's gonna go up. And this relates to Newton's third law. For every react action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So that means if we have two cars and they're colliding, what's gonna happen? They're gonna bump out. They're gonna bump, and are they just gonna do it randomly? No, they're going to go the opposite way. A pendulum, it's when you have a mass called a bob that hangs from the bottom of a string or pole and we're gonna have it swing. Uh, according to Newton's first law, once this object is in motion, it will continue in motion unless there's a force that's, uh, that is applied that would stop it. This is um, inertia, which is what's keeping it in motion. When it swings down, it would be gravity that is pulling it down this way, and then it swings the other way, inertia. When you're gonna go on this ride, what's the best seat on this ride? The edge. Why? Because that's where you get more air time. Yes, and more inertia, so you're going to feel more of that weightlessness. Now, this is an example of linear motion. Can anyone tell me what that means? Up and down. Up and down, exactly. We have two types of energy we can talk about now called potential energy and kinetic energy. So once you take a seat and you're strapped in and it starts moving up, do you think we're going to be talking about potential energy or kinetic energy? Potential, because potential energy is stored energy. So all that energy that was pent up or stored up is now going to be transferred. And as it drops, the higher that tower is, the faster it would roll down. This is one of the coolest rides here, the alien abduction. It's going to start reaching 24 revolutions per minute in 15, 20 seconds. What? There is no stress. Do we hold on to these over here? You're going to feel three times the force of grabbing in there. And you will not be able to move. Even if the bottom drops, you will not fall down. And that's an example of triple force. Can you tell me if this is also an example of a pendulum? Yes. Yes. Now, the other pendulum was very simple. It was just rocking back and forth. Well, this one, not only is there some rocking, but there's centripetal force, so there's a circular motion, as you can see. And the swing is coming out, and it's going higher and higher and higher. This is it for the class. What were some of the words that we talked about today? Inertia. Inertia. Gravity. Potential. Kinetic energy, right? I hope you realize you learned physics today, what I call the physics of fun, because you got to do it outside and apply things that you would normally learn, if not now in school, but later in school, in a fun way. Nice job.